The Dallas-Fort Worth community always says yes to supporting elementary students, and now that yes can win you a brand new 2022 truck. DFWS provides school supplies to more than 78,000 students across Texas. Give your yes today by purchasing raffle tickets in our Drive Away for Education truck raffle sponsored by Thomas J. Henry. The grand prize winner will choose from a new Ram, Chevrolet, GMC, Ford, or Nissan truck. Plus, you could win a shopping spree or gas card. Purchase your raffle ticket today at dfws.org. Uh, we're going to call a little bit of an audible here, and we're going to attempt to uh, unveil the 20, the week 8, rather. Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press Rankings. Of course, Dave Campbell's Texas Football is the official rankings provider of the Associated Press, have been since 2019, something we're very proud of. So these are the official Texas high school football rankings of record across the state of Texas. If you see a team, it's like, oh, it's number eight, whoever, against number four, whoever, then that's who we're, uh, we're dealing with. Uh, that, that you're talking about these types of rankings. So we're going to start with Class 6A. In Class 6A, the top 10... A little bit of a shakeup as Duncanville leapfrogs South Lake Carroll uh, to grab the number three spot. South Lake Carroll drops to four after surviving a scare uh, from Keller, uh, previously unbeaten Keller, but they dropped to number four as a result. The rest of the top ten unchanged. Uh, the top two unchanged as well. Galena Park, North Shore, and Austin and Westlake uh, holding on to those number two spots. They're at 11 through 25. A little bit of change up. Uh, Highland Park, uh, uh, once again, for kind of the second straight week, kind of plays with their food against a district opponent. They drop from number 12 to number 14, Spring Westfield and Alvin Shadow Creek, up a couple of spots as a result. San Antonio Brennan also survives a scare from San Antonio Warren. They will also drop down from 13 to 15. Uh, largely unchanged the remainder of it, although we did lose number 21, Klein Kane, with their loss. Uh, we kept number 25, Humble Summer Creek, in with a competitive loss to number 1, Galena Park North Shore. 25 feels pretty right for the Bulldogs. New to the rankings at number 24, the new Caney Eagles in at number 24 with a win over Conroe. 6 0 to start the year. To 5A we go, where there's a big shakeup. Number three, Denton Ryan drops out of the rankings after their loss to Burleson Centennial. Everyone else kind of moves up a, a couple spots. College Station up to number three, Port Arthur Memorial to number four, Alito up to number five. New to the rankings, the Burleson Centennial Spartans, number six, make their debut with an emphatic win over Denton Ryan. They get number five, Alito, this week. Uh, Frisco, Reedy, and Lancaster are uh, next up. They each move up, or Lancaster moves up a spot from number eight to number nine. Uh, uh, Emerald Tascosa survives a scare from Lubbock, uh, Monterey, they drop a spot to number uh, nine, uh, to number eight, nine rather, I should say. Five A Division Two, we go. Fort Bend Marshall up to number two with their win over Texas City. They leapfrog Liberty Hill, who survived a scare from San Antonio Veterans Memorial. Uh, Fort Worth Polytech, or rather, Grapevine beats Fort Worth Polytechnic to remain at number five. In fact, the back half of the rankings entirely unchanged. Grapevine, Midlothian Heritage, Mon Montgomery Lake Creek, Wichita Falls, Ryder, San Antonio, Alma Heights, and South Oak Cliff round out the top ten in Five A Division Two. To 4A we go. 4A Division 1, 1 through 9, nothing to say. Everyone was a winner or idle, uh, especially uh, very impressive from Bernie over Uvalde in week uh, to stay there at number four. Anna shuts out Maybank to remain there at number five. Uh, Canyon was idle at number nine. There is a change at the bottom, though. Uh, basically, we flipped out number 10, Kilgore, or Lindale for the team that beat them. Kilgore back into the rankings at number, five, uh, number 10 with their win over Lindale. To 4A Division 2 we go. Where a few different changes here. Pleasant Grove with their loss to Gilmer. We drop him from number three to number seven. Uh, Gilmer still at number two. Quero nudges up a spot. Silsby, despite being idle, up a spot. Belleville up a spot from number uh, with their win over previously unbeaten Brookshire Royal. Everything else remains the same, uh, rounding out the top ten. In 3A, 3A Division One now. Number two, Mount Vernon, drops out of the rankings with their loss to Winsboro. As a result, they are out of the rankings. Everyone m nudges up a couple of spots. Uh, Malakoff remains the same at number five. They got a scare from Teague. Bushland leapfrogs them to move from number six to number four in the rankings. Breckenridge up a spot. Winsboro up a spot with their big win over Mount Vernon. Lano got a scare from Universal City Randolph. I told you they would, Pickle. Yeah, yeah, Randolph's yeah. a good team. Okay, but well, th they pulled out the dub. They survive. They move up a spot to number eight. Cameron Yeo up a spot. And back into the rankings, number 10 Brock with the very strange two and four record. <laughs> but uh, they are back into the rankings. They're on deck. A spot opened up, and they're back into the rankings. Three in Division Two now. 
only one change, and that is Bells' loss to Gunter drops him from number four to number five. Very competitive loss uh, for uh, for the Panthers. They drop from number four to number five. Canadian takes their spot there at number four. The rest of the top ten unchanged. Top three unchanged. Gunner, Holiday, and Newton. To 2A we go. 2A Division One we go, where mostly chalk, but Toller's win over Coleman vaults them from number seven to or nine, nine to number seven. Uh, Stratford moves up a spot from number six to number uh, seven to number six as well. Top five unchanged: Timpson, Holly, Crawford, Shiner, and Refurio. Uh, Centerville up a spot to number nine. Coleman we keep him in the rankings with a ten point loss to Toller. They stay at number ten. To 2A Division Two we go. Where a few different changes here. Chilton, uh, Chilton's win over Bremond uh, allows him to remain at number five in the state. Uh, Bremond, we still like them. We're going to keep them at number 10. They dropped two spots with a competitive loss uh, to those Pirates. Albany nudges up a spot to number eight, and Granger nudges up a spot to number nine. To 1A we go. 1A Division One. Chalk. Everyone behaved. Everyone was a big, big winner. In fact, I want to say these teams won by like an average margin of like 54 to nothing. So everyone was a winner this week. By the way, don't expect a ton of changes next week because a lot of these teams are idle. And 1A Division 2, a few different changes. Cherokee, with their big win over Richland Springs, moves up to number 2. Balmoray up a spot to number 3. Oglesby a spot to number 4. Richland Springs drops to number 2 to number 5 with their loss. Uh, Paducah loses to Benjamin. That drops them out of the rankings, back into the rankings at number 10. The Owls of Silverton, they grab the number 10 spot in 1A Division 2. To the private school ranks we go, where it's mostly chalk with the exception in the 11-man ranks. Fort Worth Christian, number five, loses to Argyle Liberty Christian. That's enough for us to vault Argyle Liberty Christian into the rankings at six and one. Uh, they are looking awfully good. Top five, though, uh, top four, rather, remain unchanged with Dallas Parish Episcopal, Austin Regents, Houston St. Thomas, and Episcopal School of Dallas. And the private school six-man ranks entirely chalky. Conroe Covenant Christian won uh, via, via forfeit. Everyone else was a winner or idol to keep the top five unchanged in these six-man private school ranks. Of course, you can find complete rankings at texasfootball.com slash rankings. We hope you'll go check that out.